So we're venturing down to the Lake District. We're staying in Keswick. So we've stopped off in Carlisle at the Gosselin Bridge, Green King. Me and Olivia were here um, just the other week. So we had a nice bra wee meal in the Gosselin and that's us heading back onto the road now, heading to Keswick. Me and Ariana went for the macaronis, I love the nachos and mum had a Beyond Meat burger. Well, that was very good, couldn't fault it whatsoever, so I always highly recommend here. Good stop up point for us as well. Well, we've managed to find our place for the night. The keys have been left in the door for us. Give it a get oh, keys stuck. And get here. Get it in a minute. Oh, this is nice. Hmm, boiler. This is a lot bigger lodge than what we stay in. Well, you can look at the single room, how big it is. Very good. So yes, that's us arrived in Keswick, as we've seen there in that video of us. First impressions of the beach timber lodge. Lovely. So we'll see how it is to stay here. We're staying here for the next three nights. We're taking my mum and my wee sister down to do something a bit different in the Lake District. Um, my dad would come, but he is dog sitting. She's getting a bit too old to be doing traveling now, so she's having to be watched back at the house. So they'll get some peace from us all. The back door looks onto a lovely river. So you get a nice beautiful view from your back window. Nice and refreshing, seeing that in the morning. Well, we've managed to walk into Keswick Town Centre. It's a lot busier than what it normally is when we come down, but it is the summer holidays now. Well, we're on our way down to the lake. Um, it's called Derwent Water. We've went for a walk along the high street, but we'll visit that um, properly. Because um, obviously it's a bit later now, a lot of shops are starting to shut. Um, so we've done that, and then we've got a wee refreshment in one of the hotels. Now we're just going for a walk down to the lake. We've made it to Derwent Water.
So this bit takes you out to a field and you could walk next to the sheep. The ducks over there as well. Ah, they can all coexist together as well, harming each other. It's absolutely stunning down here. I don't even know if the video does it any justice. Totally picturesque down at the shore of Derwent Water. And surprisingly, even though the sky is pretty grey, it's actually quite warm and the rain stopped. It only lasted about 40 minutes, maybe. So tonight we're going to the Witherspoons for dinner. We're not getting nothing that big, that's why. So we already had quite a big late lunch. And we'll try and here tonight. Do a different place each night, I think. Well, we've been for dinner at the Witherspoons tonight and we're taking a bit of a detour walk back to the lodge, going through some of the streets and that, some of the paths and some of the places that we've stayed in before. So, a wee bit nostalgic. So, aye, and then we'll see what we end up getting up to tomorrow. Well, we've arrived at Hayes Garden Centre. It's our first thing in the morning to do. Down in Ambleside, it's a very, very hot day of the day. Sun's blazing, which is good. So we plan on going here, seeing the garden centre, getting some breakfast and then maybe heading them to Windermere and on the way back we might visit Ambleside as well. Well, we've arrived in Bowness on Windermere. We actually got a space in the car park and we're going for a walk down to the, the lake. It's a very busy place. That was a lovely wee walk around Windermere Lake and we're heading back towards the 
10 cent or nil and see what we get up to next. Not too sure yet, no plan, just mugging it. I love this turn having a shot. I'd like to get a is actually captaining the ship quite bit well. Better than I thought she would anyway. I thought it'd be in a ditch by now or capsized somewhere. Ah. She's actually doing pretty good. Beautiful out here, absolutely beautiful. No, you don't need a license to do this at all. Mum's done it. This is probably the most dangerous person to be driving it. Well, we've arrived in Ambleside and the sun's still blazing. Just drove up from Windermere. This is where we went for breakfast earlier in at the garden centre, so now we're actually visiting the town centre. And it's good you get free parking for an hour if you go in and get one of the discs out of the shops. So I think an hour is all we'll actually need um, because we've got other things planned for later on. Uh, we've all managed to get an ice cream out of that nice wee ice cream stall over there. So we're enjoying that as we walk them down both sides. Here we are, we've made it to the stone circle. It's quite a trek up that hill to get here. Made it.
Well, we visited the Castle Rig Stone Circle and now we've been back to the lodge and heading into Keswick to get some dinner. So, well, we've found this wee trail next to where we're staying, so we're going to take this walkway in today since it's a broad day. We've done 15,000 steps already. How beautiful. It's quite an amazing experience walking this old heritage railway trail. It's quite good. Beautiful walkway. Fitz Park. Well, we went to the Lake Road Inn and it was absolutely brilliant as per usual. Staff are very friendly there, so if you're ever in Keswick, definitely a place that you should visit. And we're just going for a walk now, um, burn it off, and we'll see what we end up getting up to next. Probably head back to the lodge and then have a fresh day. We've got another day tomorrow. Oh well, we're on a new day, we're heading into Keswick today, I'm um, going for breakfast at Witherspoons and then we've got no plan whatsoever, so we're just totally winging the day. Keswick Market is in town. We've never seen it on a Thursday before because we always leave the Thursday when we come down. So my mum and Ariana are away and visiting the Pencil Museum. We've done it before, so we're missing this one. The Keswick Convention's on. That's why the streets are just mobbed because it's just cleared out. It's a massive international event for Christians all over the world to come and see. So it's just, we've just all empty out and the streets are just mental now.
Well, we've stopped off in Honister Pass. An absolutely beautiful place. We've got some great views of the Lake District here and its mountains.